This is the blend room where you can even smell the ginger, yeah, you right? Can you can smell, smell the smells that they like. I'm Anthony Palmer. We're visiting assembly lines all across the Commonwealth to see the creation of some of our nation's most iconic products that are made in Kentucky. We're here in Winchester, Kentucky. Just a quick look around and you can see how this place has something to fit everyone's taste. Come along, we're heading to the L81 bottling plant. Dean Elmore is going to show us how it gets into those iconic green bottles. Can we start the tour with you giving us the recipe? Sadly, no. That would ruin the magic. I can tell you that it's made with ginger and citrus. Mm. Would you like a tour? Absolutely. Lead the way. This is the blend room, and this is where the syrup is handled. It lives in these big tanks right here. Everything is computerized. So whether we're producing original ALA or one of our flavors, cherry or orange cream, it's exact science. Or you can even smell the ginger, yeah, you right? Can you can smell, smell the smells of ALA. This is our most sacred spot in all of ALA. You asked me at the beginning to tell you the formula, which I couldn't, but I can show you where it's made, up that spiral staircase. That is the secret spot where our fourth generation owner, who is the great, great nephew of our founder and inventor, G.L. Wayne Scott, still mixes the secret formula by hand in small batches so every ALA you drink still originates at the hands of one man. Today, we're producing our iconic long neck refillable bottle. They're actually true recycling. So they're not just recycled, they're refilled. And we may even reuse about 50% of the cartons that they come in if they're properly labeled. Right now, they're being separated from the carton. This person is going to be visually inspecting the bottle. The bottle is gonna go on into the bottle washer but the cartons below it, we're gonna reuse as many as we possibly can. The carton director is going to be popping up new cartons. These bottles go into a giant dishwasher. The bottle washer has 32 rows. There's gonna be a 30 minute wash cycle and they are gonna be thoroughly washed before they exit on the other side. This is the fill room. Anthony, you're gonna need these. Thank you. The bottles are exiting in 32 rows. After the bottle has been visually inspected, gone through the Filtech infrared inspector, now it's headed onto the filler. That is the flow mix proportioner, where the liquid elements of AL8 blend together at the bottom that makes that lovely caramel color. We have 72 filling valves to put AL8 in the bottle while it makes a rotation. It looks like a giant carousel. The pen goes down inside the bottle, and while it makes the circle, it's filled with AL8. Once it exits, it heads onto the bottle capper where caps are gonna be crimped on top of the bottle. And then we're gonna send it on down to be case packed. So this is our case inspector. It's gonna be making sure that there's 24 bottles. And if there's not, it's gonna push it aside. It's amazing, isn't it? And then we're gonna send it on down to our palletizing system so that we can put 40 cases on a pallet the pallet's then gonna move on to the shrink wrap. Once the stack is secure, a forklift operator is gonna take it and then store it in the warehouse so that it can go out to retailers. A one-of-a-kind soda, made, bottled, sold, and enjoyed. Cheers. Right here in the Bluegrass State.